Are you trying to get into this Tour Pro Impact where you clear the hips through the golf ball, but you're not seeing any results from it? Well, in today's live lesson, you're gonna see exactly why a lot of golfers struggle with this. Alex was struggling with hitting some high weak slices. His focus was clearing the hips, inconsistent ball striking and timing. And we did two things with him. We tidied up his backswing, gave him one thing to do in the backswing. And then we give him a really simple drill that helped him square the face up and turn those high weak shots into nice little draws. This video is really gonna help you. Okay, the best shot you've hit today. Okay, let's take a look at Alex's golf swing before we get into the coaching then. So what we'll notice here, first of all, in the backswing, we'll notice it's a little short of hip turn, and then it's got this big excessive drive of the lower body. And when we do that, what it does, it just delays the face and adds to that ball going to the right. So what we're gonna to do today, first of all, is your path average was 8.6 to the left, and your face to path, was 3.1 to the right of that. So you said that you wanted to play a draw. We need to get your path from 8.6 left average to actually slightly the other way. Whether we get there today is another story, but we are certainly gonna get it closer to zero. Perfect. So the first thing I want you to do, if you just jump in, in there for me and just take your setup to that, to that red flag as, as you were earlier. I'm just gonna come in here and I want you to just step back and have a little look of where that's pointing in relation to that red flag. Way left. Way left, yeah, <laughs> way left. So this is the mo this is actually really the reason that you're swinging at 8.6 average to the left. So the first thing we're gonna do is get you to square up. So this line, we want parallel to your target line. So I'm gonna bring this in and get this roughly parallel there. So if you just take your setup for me to that now, I want you to just get parallel to that. And then I want you to look up in a moment and just tell me where you feel like you're aiming when you look up. I like the black flag. Okay, so you feel like you're aiming 20 <laughs> yards right now. Yeah. 30, 25 yards right, okay. Yeah. Now, if we didn't do anything else, if we have a swing now, your path is gonna get, straight away, it's gonna be pretty close to zero. Let's have a couple of shots and just see what this does, first of all. There, there's, two, there's two more things that we're going to do, but I wanna just show you how we can quickly change the path by aim. The ball's probably gonna go right, because mm -hmm. the face is another issue, but let's just hit a shot and just see what happens straight away. Okay, it's the first ball you've actually turned over. Yeah. But I want you to look at the club path here, just on the bottom right. Wow. Notice that was 1.6 left, yeah? Right, okay. which is... If you, so that's just a, a slight left, but now what we're just gonna do is condition you. So you said you practice once a week. Mm -hmm. The number one thing that you have to do after today is when you get to the range, do exactly what we're doing now. Drop an alignment stick down exactly where you're aiming and just condition yourself to go in that's, I know I'm on target, that's what I'm, I'm looking at. Because then you're now, you're now in a great place to now, now work at the swing. Right. Okay, strike was okay, but there's that ball going right. And here's the thing with that shot there, that was good as far as the path is concerned. Look at that, 0 0.4 left. But if he's going to aim square handed, there's no way he's going to want to hit shots like that, is he? So what's he going to do? He's going to aim left. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And let me swap places with you. And this is so important for you guys now just to understand this, because what's happening in the golf swing, Alex, for you is that you're gonna to swing to the top of the swing, but because you're so focused on downswing, mm -hmm. it's not actually enabling you enough time to sort of turn and load and create a good pivot on the way back. So what happens is you swing back, you drive super hard like this, but then the arms and the hands are left behind, and that face now is, is jammed, stuck behind you, and it's gonna bring that into play. Right. So if we now, create more of a pivot on the way back with the hips. This actually now enables you to sink the lower body up with the hands and the arms without you having to try and outrace them so early. Because now as we turn into this hip, we've now got things more sequenced and you're not now outracing that lower body so early. So all I want you to do, I want you to get hands, hands and arms across your shoulders and just get in your position for me here. So all we're gonna focus on now for this first part is just what's happening with the lower body. So if you lean forward in your golf posture, and you'll see from the front on camera now, I'm gonna do a backswing with you. The ball, it's good. There you go. Okay, what does that feel like? What do you notice? Feels good. Yeah, anything different? I'm actually rotated. There you go, that's it. So, and that was easy by the way. Actually, a lot yeah. of people, sometimes I'm going, let me, let me tug them round, <laughs> lean forward again. That was really easy to do. So when we're doing this now, I don't feel really any resistance here but feel how much more this is a core 
coiling up here into this into this right hip. Mm -hmm. Big difference there. And again, so you do that on your own there for me. There you go. Okay, perfect. So within a couple of swings there, understanding this and just now having a feeling of just what that does. So the first thing that, that Alex can forget about now is trying to do this. The problem was he was adding to the problem. The ball was going right and he was thinking that clearing the hips is going to fix it. If you hit the golf ball right, do not focus on trying to turn the hips. It'll make it go even more right. Let's do a couple of swings. But we should start to see now this path number completely change. Okay, do a practice swing for me. And through. But when you do this, I really want you to go slow. Okay. So I want you to go, you can see there's loads of speed there and there's still, <laughs> what we've still got is this big drive. I just want you to go, I want you to go 40% speed. It's hard to do 40% speed, but create that turn on the way back. Nice. Good. There we go. There's definitely going to be one other, there's going to be another thing that we're going to work on, I can tell, <laughs> because it's going to involve something else, which we're going to, we're going to, we're going to keep until, until in a minute. Good, good. Notice we're not trying to hit golf shots yet. I, I want him feeling, I want to see the motion. <coughs> I want to see this nice timed sequence turn. Beautiful, love that, love that. So it'll be interested to see what the, the full swing says in a minute when we look at path. This should change the path. It should make it come a little bit more from the inside. Still was a little fast, I felt. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. <sighs> okay, cheated on that one. You cheated on that one, Alex. I'll tell you what happened and now I wanna show you guys and you, Alex. So what you did on that one, first move was this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you straighten the leg, but you didn't actually turn. What's the difference? So. See the difference? So all you did on the last one, you sort of straighten the leg. There you go, I want, you to, I want the focus to be on the turn as opposed to just that. You can, you can sort of cheat it a little right. bit, if that makes sense, yeah? Totally. So have a, have a practice swing again there. So the key is making sure that we can get that rotation first. Nice. There's one more thing that I just want to do, because, you, because when you hit a couple of those, if you take your setup again there, there's only one other thing in the setup which will help this. And you'll notice in my setup, notice how much space I've got here, mm -hmm. yeah? So what I'd like to see you do is you're a little close to the golf ball and there's not much space. I want to, I'd like to give you some space, move a little further away so you can really, you can really get your hand moving in there. So just a fraction further away. When you're close to the golf ball, you're always susceptible to hitting the, 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 the hosel. But this now is just going to give you the freedom and the space to find more of the center as opposed to the hosel. Okay, beautiful. Really, really nice. Great backswing. Lovely strike. Okay, path. 1.7 left. Not bad though. Numbers there are pretty low. Last if one was 0 0.4 right, actually. If we can have these numbers as close to zero <coughs> as possible, mm -hmm. they don't have to be zero exactly, but the closer they are, the less curve there's gonna be. Right, okay, sweet. Good. A little straighter on that one. Now, what I wanna, what I wanna do here now is just show you the next part. And this, this is the most important part. We've done it in this order, setup, path, and face, because you're gonna see the real benefit from this. So just do a backswing for me. Okay, now just slowly, super slow motion, just start the downswing for me how you were doing it before. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Hold, hold it there, right, okay. Take a look at this. Notice how much this cleared the body, but notice now how far this club is, a couple of things, is left open, and there's no way for this club to release now because if you keep turning for me now, hold it there. Look at that club face. That club face now is left wide open. So the issue here is we're almost holding on for things for too long. So what we're going to actually work on with you now is actually to get you releasing the club as opposed to holding on. And then this is when the finish feels a little strange. You're almost, right. you're almost sort of blocked off here. Uh -huh. We're going to get you to release this. Now as a baseball player, this is where it happens. Think about a baseball player. We hit the we hit it like this, and, that, and when we sit, sort of hit with the side of the bat. Now, as as a golfer, get we want to be hitting it like this. Yeah, we want to be able to get his arms both more extended, club face nice and square. We've just got the the leftovers of a little bit of a baseball swing. Sure. And the way we're going to do this is focus on the uh, through swing. This is what's going to now change the club face to path, and I think we're going to see some brilliant 
brilliant results from this. So all I want you to do, we're going to swing back. Okay, soften, soften the hands and arms now. I'm going to start to swing down. Okay. What do you notice? Club face is closed. Club face is closed, okay. So this club face now is closing. Now what Alex feels, what you feel, Alex, is, I'll exaggerate it, is this for so long, look at this. And I'm exaggerating this, but this is really what's happening. So what we're going to get you to do is to get the, if you put both hands on for me, we're going to get the toe of the club to release past the heel like this. That feels a lot, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we can get you releasing the club like this, then we're going to square the face up and we're going to see that the, the face is in a different position now. Okay, so let's just have a couple of swings here for us. Okay, just take, take your setup for us. All I want you to do, okay. keep hold of the club. See how the toe of the club mm -hmm. is in the impact bag here, yeah? Okay. So I want you to do a couple of swings super slow and you're just going to stop where my club is here. So if I, I'm going to stay here. I'm just going to hold this. I want you to just go halfway back and then super slow on the way down. Super slow. Keep coming, keep coming. There you go. It's a nice accessory for you, that, Andy. Look at nice little me and my golf handbag. <laughs> I bet, I bet you put like this. <laughs> there you go, even better. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a different feeling for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're not even trying to work the body now for you. What we're actually doing is putting the focus and the energy into the hands. So instead of you doing this, mm -hmm. now what we're doing is getting it through. Yeah, exactly. So we want the energy now. There you go. So oh. straight, straight away, I mean, that's so different. If we can have that happen, it's, it's going to completely change the ball flight. So what we're doing first here, guys, is educating the hands first before we start to ramp up the speed. So practice swing first. Okay. Should we get a shot? Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. The only thing I want to see on this one is the ball curve to the left. Okay. That's all I want you to see. I want that toe to be passing the heel. Very good. It's good. A little late. It's still an element of you could, you could even feet together. Yeah. Practice swing. Literally go feet feet together. Good. Good. Now notice now what <laughs> this is gonna do. If you go with the same old leg drive, you're gonna lose your balance. Right. So all this now is gonna do is gonna educate your hands to work and it's going to stop your body from working. This is hands and arms only. So hands and arms only, because you can't involve the legs here. There you go, love that, love it. Okay, this ball has to curve left, feet together. Beautiful. Okay. Awesome. Notice how it's, this is completely stopping what you really right. want to do, which right. is drive the right. hell out of these, this lower body. Get my hips through. Yeah, yeah, and it is. And so many golfers back home are trying to do what you're doing. So many golfers are going, right, the pros all get here, so let's turn. Let me, we must be in this position where we turn. But if you slice the golf ball, if you lose the ball right, adding to the problem by right. doing this. Good. Exactly what we wanted. There you go, beautiful. Okay, so now what we've got, we've got the, the face working as it should. Mm -hmm. Now it's easy when the lower body's taken out of it and you can right. see how the lower body impacts the club face because if you drive the lower body, it's harder to square the face. So now I have a couple of swings where you just feel it, but we want to go maybe 50% speed here. The feeling, the, the quality of the move has to be good first before we put the speed in. Excellent. That's all I wanted to see. Really nice. So look at this. Club path there was 0 0.2 to the left. Yeah. And club face was seven degrees closed. Sweet. Really nice. Another one like that. Another one like that. Good. Okay, that's all we want. Perfect. There we now, go. Okay. Oh, I'm so good. step straight in. Let's let's while you've got that feeling there, I want you to get in, get good space from the ball. Okay, the best shot you've hit today. Oh, look at the shape. Let's have a look at the numbers. Best shot by far today, that is. Okay, I mean, look how low those numbers are. 1.8 left, 1.3 right. But now when we've got those numbers low, your dispersion now isn't gonna be right. like this. Mm -hmm. Because now what we've got is a, is a, a narrow corridor. Beautiful strike. That one felt so good. 
I mean, yeah. that, was, that was just absolute bullet straight. We look at the face to path number, one, one degree left. One degree left. Okay, let's take a look at the before and after then with Alex. Down the line, you can see set up now the space between him and the golf club, which is crucial for that strike. And you'll see in the backswing, so much more hip turn. And the hip turn really is creating the space now for the golf club to swing on a good path with a lot less really leg drive. Great club face to path numbers. Brilliant work there, well done. Thank you. If you want to improve your ball striking with your irons, make sure you check out our five-step system, Pure Your Irons, by clicking here or simply downloading the Me and My Golf app. Thanks guys, and we'll see you next time.